We have a dad by the name of Diarmond Spears, mm -hmm. and he spoke to his son for three years in Klingon. Come All on. right. Come on, that's awesome. That's awesome. Now, he says because that... that... I mean, that, look, I want to hear the rest of the details of this story, because it's fantastic. Okay. But, I mean, that takes geekdom to a level I don't think it's ever been taken before. He claims... I mean, he's gone where no one's gone before. Get it? Get it? You I, I think it. I think you're the king of geek, uh, geekdom, to what? be honest with you. No, look, this guy's got me beat by spades, man. He, he says that he's not a huge Star Trek fan. Okay, he says, no, that's literally what he says. He says he's a linguist, and he's interested. He did, like, an experiment with his son, okay? He spoke to his son in Klingon while his mother spoke to him in English. Mm -hmm. And he was interested to see if his son would pick up a non-human language, mm -hmm. right? But define non-human language. Yeah, it's so stupid because, look, I mean, he's a linguist. Right. So that's actually unbelievable that he said that because Klingon is a made-up language that's still made up, A, by humans, mm -hmm. B, is mainly based on, I believe, Mongolian, okay? Mm -hmm. And might be, uh, I read a great Wall Street Journal article about it years ago, maybe a decade ago. I think it's got some Turkish in there. Mm -hmm. It's got Mongolian because they wanted a harsh-sounding language. Like if, you, like, if you know Turkish, Turkish is very harsh-sounding. Harsh mm -hmm. Like, buçak, chatal, kashuk. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that sound Klingon? Yeah. Okay, that's a uh, fork, spoon, and knife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, they base it on obviously on human languages. Mm -hmm. So he kind of wasted three years of his life and had his kid learn this language no one else speaks. Well, based on a kind of a questionable little study he's doing over there. Well, what's interesting about the study is um, before I actually read the results, I thought, of course your son is going to pick up the language if you speak to him that way in the first three years of his life, right? Right. But it turns out, no, he never uh, actually learned Klingon. I mean, he understood. Mm -hmm. what his father was trying to tell him. However, he never spoke Klingon. He spoke like a word or two, and he pronounced them correctly, according to this guy. But um, he never actually picked it up. However, he did pick up English, thankfully. I mean, this is the craziest study of all time. Right. I mean, you're doing it on your kid. I don't know how often a day did you do it. Was it one hour? Was it two hours? No one else speaks Klingon. So, of course, he's not going to pick it up. He's going to pick up television. I mean, English from television, etc. So it depends. If you did it for five hours a day or eight hours a day, okay, well, then that's an interesting study. You do it every once in a while. You're like, bachak, chatal, kashik. And he doesn't pick it up? Yeah. And besides, he's three. I mean, this is a terrible study. And right. I don't believe him at all. I think he's like an enormous Star Trek dork. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, long live, uh, P live long and prosper. God, did I blow that. All the Star Trek people are going to be so mad at me. Oh, heaven <laughs> forbid. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I have a Captain Kirk uh, outfit at home, so mm -hmm. sent in by one of our listeners. <laughs> so anyway, I'm amused by his study, but it's weak sauce, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Should you imagine, though, the kid grows up? And he just speaks some like made-up language? No, it comes back to him, and he's like, Buchak Chatal? Kashuk? Fire! <laughs> we must invade now! Okay, by the way, don't get him to act like a Klingon, whatever you do, okay? The language is one thing. You know, the Klingons are very mm -hmm. uh, aggressive, to mm -hmm. say the least. If you like this little clip, you'll love the whole show. It loops 24-7 on theyoungturks.com. Go and check it out right now.